Today we're talking all about shooting accuracy. And I think it's so important that when you're shooting, you put an emphasis on accuracy over power. How many times have you taken a shot, a really nice hard shot, but it goes right down the middle and the keeper just grabs it or punches it away? Or even worse, how many times do you try to rip the ball as hard as you can and you hit it wide or put it over the top? If you want to score more goals, think about being more accurate. So I want to give you a couple tips on how to be accurate and then we'll demonstrate a couple shots for you. But these are the things I think about when I'm shooting. So number one, like I said, power is not as important as accuracy. How many times do you hit a shot like this? That might have went in. But a really hard shot right down the middle and the keeper just punches it away, okay? That shot right there, even though it's super hard, isn't as valuable as that shot right there, just passing it in the corner. Okay, so if you wanna be accurate, think about taking a little less off your shots, especially when you're on the run. Let's say, for example, you're taking a touch. You're taking a touch and you're like trying to get to the ball and you try to blast this one. How many times does that just spray wide, okay? Especially when the ball's getting away from you or you're off balance, really make sure that you get it on net. Okay, so that shot right there, low and in the corner is much more likely to score than first of all, a shot that I hit really hard but I don't get it on net, or like I said, a shot really hard but it's right down the middle, okay? So think about taking a little off your shots. Most important is that you hit the net. I tell my players all the time, I don't care how hard you can hit it. I care if you can hit the net consistently at least nine out of 10 times, okay? If you're getting it on net, you're likely to score goals. Sometimes you'll have a bad shot but it's still on net, that ball's flat. Sometimes you'll have a bad shot, but it's still on net, just like that, and the keeper will let it in, okay? So make sure you get your shots on target. So how can you be more accurate? How do I make the ball go where I want it to go? Well, first of all, all the same things apply with your technique, okay? You can hit it with laces, you can hit it with the inside of your foot, you can hit it toe hack, you can do whatever you want. The same principles apply. If I wanna keep the ball down, I wanna get my body over it. Okay, if I'm swinging from back here and lunging at the ball and I'm hitting underneath the ball, it's gonna go high every time or it's gonna be out of control every time. Okay, so get your body over it. Also, my body positioning. If my body is faced this way and I go to strike it, you can see my body is pointing the ball over this way, so the ball's gonna travel that way. If I swing through the ball and I end up like this, a lot of people do this, my body is pointing this way, the ball's gonna go across the net, you're gonna miss it wide. Okay, so think about your body positioning. If I just wanna get the ball straight on target, I make sure that when I hit it, okay, my body is traveling forward towards the net. Now, if you wanna be even more accurate, so first of all, remember, think about your body. Where's your body directed when you follow through, okay? If I'm swinging and I'm following through like this, like a lot of us do, the ball's gonna go there. Or if I'm too open like this, the ball's gonna go there. So when you're taking shots, Let's say you're practicing by yourself or in a game and you miss the ball wide. Think about, okay, where did my body end up? If you were like this and the ball went over there, that's because you opened up your body too much, okay? So get your body going towards the goal. Next thing is your follow through, okay? So if I want the ball to go to that corner over there, again, I want my body going straight, but I want my foot to come through the ball and point towards that corner, okay? So when I'm done making my shot, my foot, should be pointed over there. Guide the ball, push the ball there. Don't just hit it, don't just hit like a snapshot. Don't just hit it like this, stop your follow through and hope that it goes where you want it to go. Okay, you wanna push it there, guide it there with your follow through. So like I said, if I want it to go to that corner, I'm gonna make sure I follow through there. Everything body over the ball, body still going towards the net. If I want it to go to that corner, I'm gonna follow through. Holy, that's horrible. Guide it right down the middle. If I want to follow through there, let's try that again. Something like that, okay, hit that corner. And as, as you guys can see, I'm hitting bottom corners. Did you know that 70% of goals are in the bottom third of the net? This low shot that's on the ground, hardened on the ground, that one's much more likely to go in than a ripper right here. Why? Because the goalkeeper can get to this. The goalkeeper can get to these. I'm sure you've hit a really strong mid-level shot and the keeper just punches it away, okay? But those low ones, that's way tougher to get down there. So think about keeping your shots low. So to recap, what did we talk about? 
Body positioning, really think about your body positioning. Okay, if you're missing shots a lot, it's usually because of the way your body's facing. So again, if I'm open like this, my body's pointing this way, the shot's likely to go that way. If I fall through right or left foot, if I fall through and then my body ends up here, the ball's definitely going there. If I keep my body going straight, then my shot's gonna go straight towards the net. And if you wanna hit those spots on the net, okay, think about falling through. And everything like we talked about in the other videos on shooting, your foot technique is so important. Keep that flex foot. Whether I'm hitting it laces or whether I'm hitting with the inside of my foot, I still need that strong flex foot. If I have a weak limp foot, it's gonna be a weak shot and it's also gonna be uncontrollable. It's not gonna go where you want, okay? So I'm focusing on that flex and I'm gonna make a video just on flexing the foot. But think about that flex, good technique, whether it's inside of your foot or with your laces, you want that strong. Okay, and like I said, hitting those bottom corners, that's where you're gonna score your goals. tips this video means nothing if you aren't willing to practice shooting is one of the most difficult skills to master and if you want to become good at it it's all about getting in that consistent practice so you need to find ways to get more shots before training after training during training every opportunity you get can you get that ball can you start getting shots on net playing passes and finishing with your teammates or just shooting by yourself shooting off the dribble shooting off the turn shooting in different ways the more shots you get under your belt the more of a goal scorer you're going to be so think about all the things we talked about in this video remember power isn't anywhere near as important as accuracy yes you want to develop a strong powerful shot but if you can't hit the net every time it doesn't mean anything so focus on your accuracy first and power second. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it valuable, please give me a thumbs up, give me a quick like, please share this video with your friends and teammates, post a comment below, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.